Greetings, world. We're here today to give you a special presentation on the use of quantum computers to uh, design better nuclear reactors. Uh, one of the key problems in the nuclear reactor design is the configuration of the fuel assemblies. Um, multiple fuel type, fuel assembly types are typically used in typical reactor design. Uh, here in this very simplified study, we have one high enrichment, one low enrichment assembly that we use in a reactor design. Um, and this gives us a very large search space in the quarter core rotational periodicity geometry. Um, and we cannot simply evaluate all these possibilities. This necessitates the need for optimization techniques using quantum algorithms. Um, so typically, what we are looking at as a multi-objective uh, function that we seek to minimize for our reactor design. We want to first maximize how long a reactor can stay critical, and while secondly, minimizing the power peaking to the safety for tier you want to beat. So, so we just have this multi-objective function with competing needs that we still we seek to minimize. We considered a few non-icing based optimization methods, including simulated annealing, which heats and cools, a solution, genetic algorithms and quantum inspired genetic algorithms, which take a chromosome view of evolving solutions into an optimum configuration, as well as icing based models. Um, and the as a model and people formulation of um, the problem. So we have the Eisen model, which is the classical physics model corresponding to configurations of physical Eisen spins. The um, this physical model mapped to many combinatorial optimization problems, which combinatorial optimization are a very popular field of optimization research. Um, within that scope, we also involve nuclear core load and pattern optimization problems, which is our specific application here. Um, and within the, the realm of Eisen models, you can find a feasible mapping between Eisen models to a very well-known binary model in the quantum annealing um, space, such as um, popular hardware machines as D-Wave, in Fujitsu, um, and this model is known as the Quadratic Unconstrained Binary Optimization Model. Um, there are a number of powerful Kubo solvers that do exist, such as D-Wave, and um, within the, the timeline of today, this is an un essential underpinning of near-term intermediate scale quantum computers. Some of the icing-based optimization algorithms we considered included optimized simulated annealing for spin glasses, the Hamza de Freitas Selby algorithm, and a quantum annealing solution on D-Wave. Other algorithms that were considered included simulated quantum annealing and spin vector Monte Carlo which include ways for the solution to tunnel through energy barriers. However, the lack of high quality open source implementations limited our ability to explore these algorithms. Open source solutions are needed to accelerate development and testing of potential solutions to a problem as well as the ability to validate code um, and make sure that the algorithms are working properly. Ideally, this would happen in a scalable language um, for some of these high computational cost problems, such as the one that we're considering. As you can see here, we have the industry collaboration between uh, Quantipo LLC, which is a quantum machine learning uh, company, um, and D-Wave, which is the quantum hardware company. And one of the key lessons we learned in this uh, solving this problem was that we were unable to always constrain 
the loading patterns to a 30-30 split of high and low enrichment assemblies, even though this was a constraint in our design. Uh, this would have required the use of a fully connected graph. However, with the current size of D-Wave, this is not possible. However, we found that training our ISO model of 30-30 splits in the assembly type was some, somewhat successful in uh, applying this 33 splitting constraint. Uh, in addition, for future studies, um, other parameter uh, figures of merit, especially reactivity control, should be considered in the config configuration optimization. Um, so we have here one of the our results from the quantum genetic algorithm, uh, and it combines features of both checkerboard style and in-out loading patterns with low neutron leakage on the periphery. At the current date, we're exploring solutions to some of the other algorithms that we mentioned and hope to have results on that soon. And for our list of collaborators, um, we've had work um, with a extensive group of people such as Brian Anderson, Erica Grant, uh, Travis Humble, Frank Mueller, and Scott Palmtag. For more information on the details of the Cubo and the algorithms that were considered, we'll be uploading this talk with an appendix, including details of these algorithms and the Cubo that was used. Thank you so much.